let us start a question answer session on the topic of mechanics in this lecture number one we shall address a few basic questions on rigid body and give answers to them first question what is degree of freedom the answer degree of freedom is the number of independent motions a body can perform without violating any constraint or restriction imposed on it that is in other words the rigid body has to respect the conditions that have been put on it obeying the restrictions and conditions the body can still move and the number of independent ways in which it can execute motion is referred to as degree of freedom degree of freedom thus tells us how much freedom the body enjoys of course put in another way it tells us with how much restriction we have tied up the body or confined the body we come to the next question what is the number of degrees of freedom of a rigid body the answer consider a rigid body with no constraint or restriction so it is free to move in any way it wishes to we have to identify the number of independent ways it executes the movements this is the rigid body say let us attach a coordinate system to it for description purpose this is x axis this is y axis and this is the z axis we list down the number of independent motions first let us investigate the translation capability of the rigid body the rigid body can move along this x direction independently in other words translation along x is possible the rigid body can move along this y direction independently in other words translation along y axis is possible the rigid body can move along this z direction independently so translation along z axis is also possible this means that the rigid body has three translation degrees of freedom next we investigate the rotation capability of the rigid body the rigid body can rotate about this x axis in other words rotation about x axis is possible it can rotate about this y axis and so rotation about y axis is also possible the rigid body can rotate about this z axis so rotation about z axis is also possible this means that rigid body has three rotation degrees of freedom so rigid body has 3 plus 3 equal to 6 degrees of freedom that is 6 independent motions next question what is the number of degrees of freedom of a rigid body that can move only upon a plane the answer consider rigid body on a plane say x y plane suppose this is the rigid body this is x axis this is y axis and this is the z axis the x axis and the y axis define the x y plane and the rigid body is upon the plane this is the constraint or restriction let us investigate the independent motions possible for the body first translation the rigid body can translate along this x axis independently so translation along x axis is possible it can translate along this y axis independently so translation along y axis is also possible the rigid body cannot move along z axis since that will lift it up from the x y plane so no z motion is allowed this means the rigid body has two translation degrees of freedom next about independent rotations that are allowed the rigid body confined to 
xy plane can obviously rotate about the z axis and still remain rooted to the xy plane so rotation about z axis is a possibility rotation about x axis or about y axis means the body will move away from the xy plane which we cannot permit hence such rotations about x axis or y axis is not permitted so rigid body has only one rotation degrees of freedom we conclude that the rigid body has 2 plus 1 equal to 3 degrees of freedom that is three independent motions it can execute next question what is the number of degrees of freedom of a rigid body that is fixed at one point the answer the rigid body is fixed at a point as it is fixed there is a constraint or restriction and we have to respect it let us draw a rigid body and here it is this is x-axis this is y-axis and this is z-axis this is the point call it O at which the rigid body is fixed so it is fixed at O point as usual let us discuss the independent motions translation can the rigid body translate how will it translate because it is fixed to a point we cannot pull it and make it move this is not allowed so the rigid body cannot translate so it has zero translation degree of freedom can it rotate yes it can to rotate the body is not required to make any linear movement or shift away from the fixed point so rotation is a valid movement even while remaining rooted to the fixed point the rigid body can rotate about this x-axis in other words rotation about x-axis is possible it can rotate about y-axis that is rotation about y-axis is possible it can rotate about z axis and hence rotation about z axis is a possibility so there are three rotation degrees of freedom we conclude that the rigid body has 0 plus 3 equal to 3 degrees of freedom that is three independent motions let us address the question what is the number of degrees of freedom of a rigid body that is fixed to a line the answer consider the rigid body fixed to a line fixed means there is constraint or restriction that we promise to abide by let us sketch the rigid body this is the line referred to to which it is fixed this is x-axis this is y-axis this is the z-axis we have taken the line referred to as our z-axis check the independent motions of the body consistent with the constraint first can it translate it is fixed to a line and this means it cannot change position along the line or perpendicular to the line so it fails to show any linear movement in other words it cannot translate so zero translation degrees of freedom next can it rotate the rigid body can treat the line as an axis and rotate about it in other words it can rotate about the z axis which is a line so rotation about z axis is possible but rotation about the other axis will mean the body has to move itself away from the line and then the restriction of keeping itself attached to the line will be violated so such rotations about x-axis and y-axis are not allowed there is thus one rotation degrees of freedom and so rigid body has 0 plus 1 equal to 1 degrees of freedom for this setup that is only one independent motion shows up next question a rigid body has a hole through it 
a rod passes through the hole, how many degrees of freedom are there? The answer. Consider the rigid body fit with a rod through a hole. And this is how it is. This is the rigid body. This is the hole. And this is the rod making its way through the hole. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. And this is the z-axis. Here too, we choose the rod as the z-axis for convenience of description. Now, identify the independent motions. Translation. Clearly, the rigid body can slide along the rod along this z direction. So, translation along z axis is possible. But, translation along x and y axis are not allowed as the rod passing through it prevents such motion. So, there is one translation degree of freedom. Next, rotation. Clear that the body can revolve about the rod that is about the z axis. So, rotation about z axis is a possibility. Clearly, the body has one rotation degrees of freedom. So, the rigid body has 1 plus 1 equal to 2 degrees of freedom that is can execute two independent movements. Question. What is the number of degrees of freedom of a rigid body fixed at two points? Answer. Rigid body fixed at two points. Fixed means we have imposed constraint or restriction on it. Again, note that two points define a line. We show it. This is the rigid body. This is one point. This is another point. And let us join them to define a line. So the problem is actually that of a rigid body fixed to a line. And we have done it. It has one degree of freedom. Look at the next question. What is the number of degrees of freedom of a rigid body fixed at three points? The answer. Rigid body fixed at three nonlinear points. Fixed means there is constraint or restriction. This is the rigid body. Say it is fixed at these points. The first point, the second and here is the third. We can think this is our x-axis. This is the y-axis and this is the z-axis. Let us think a bit. If at all, the rigid body can move. It is fixed in all directions, so no linear movement. And it is fixed about all directions, hence no rotatory movement either. Rigid body thus cannot move. It is not free. No freedom of movement is there. No motion. It cannot accomplish any translation. It cannot accomplish any rotation. It has the zero degrees of freedom. The last question coming up. What is the number of degrees of freedom of a rigid body fixed at four points? Come to the answer. Consider a rigid body fixed at four points. Fixed. So constraint or restriction is there. And what is it? The rigid body is fixed at four points. We saw that the ability of movement of the rigid body was robbed, was completely restricted by fixing it at three nonlinear points. So fixing it at an additional point, the fourth point has no extra effect. So we conclude that the rigid body cannot move. Neither can it translate nor can it rotate. No motion. It is not free. It has zero degrees of freedom. We now make a summary or in other words collect the results and place them as answers to a master question. How many degrees of freedom does a rigid body have if the questions come up now one by one? It is free. The options are 1, 2, 3, 6.
the answer is 6 as we did earlier. It is confined to a plane. The options are 1, 2, 3, 6. 3 is the answer. It is fixed at a point. The options 1, 2, 3, 6. The answer is 3. It is fixed to a line. Same options 1, 2, 3, 6. And we got the answer to be 1. It has a hole with a rod through it. Same options 1, 2, 3, 6. And the answer is 2. It is fixed at two points. 1, 2, 3, 6 are the options. We choose option 1. This was our answer. It is fixed at three points. Options 0, 2, 3, 6. The answer is 0. It is fixed at four points. The options are 0, 2, 3, 6. The answer is 0 again.